Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on NVIDIA Omniverse setup and use cases. In this webinar, we will be exploring how to get started with NVIDIA Omniverse, uh, the collaborative platform for real-time 3D simulation and design. We will deep dive into the powerful features of Omniverse and how we can set up the environment and showcase some uh, real-world use cases using NVIDIA Omniverse. And uh, Sumit is going to lead this session, and he is uh, a senior developer. Thank you, Sumit. Oh, thanks, Vijay, for the introduction. So I'll take uh, I'll take from here. First of all, like uh, greetings to everyone whoever has joined this valuable session, and uh, I'm very grateful that you took time from your busy schedules and you are here for this webinar. And I'll try to make this fruitful for everyone. So let's share my screen first. So I, I hope my screen is visible to everyone, right? Yeah, so much we can okay. see your screen. Oh, just a second. Are So let's start. So first of all, like introduction to Omniverse and what mainly we will cover is the mainly uh, what is Omniverse and what are its use cases and some of those tools that Omniverse provides and also how to set up Omniverse. That's the main thing. So what is Omniverse? The first question is what is actually Omniverse? So it's basically a, you can say a software provided by NVIDIA, a framework. And it's a very powerful platform that con uh, connects different 3D applications and helps you in real-time collaboration and developing seamless 3D workflows. So transforming 3D workflows with real-time collaboration and integration. So what is real-time? Real-time is uh, when you just can uh, at the same time or simultaneously, you can make objects and render them in different kinds of environment. So what uh, Omniverse provides is uh, they, it provides a particular viewport or a particular environment where you can make different kinds of objects or 3D, mainly 3D objects and uh, see the simulation in different uh, paths or different terrains as uh, integrated workflows. So it mainly helps you integrate many 3D applications like Blender, Maya, Unreal and allow different kinds of users to use simultaneously. It provides a unified unified environment as uh, a single user or a group of users can make or can uh, work on different projects simultaneously on different 3D assets at the same time. So yeah, there is a huge role of Omniverse in 3D industry. As I mentioned earlier in simulation, in even training your uh, robots, like you, you can just make a simulation of a terrain that the robot will walk on or the robot will actually uh, have to survive in the real life. The, it, the, it also provides some workflow optimization techniques and the visualization, it provides virtual environments that are quite realistic and very immersive. Uh, as we can see, uh, like in automation industries, currently in automobiles, the whole platforms or the whole assembly line is created in a 3D 3D structure or in Omniverse or in any other platform. And then the particular workers are trained according to them. And it uh, ultimately helps in their production line. So let's see the downloading and inst installing of Omniverse on Windows and Linux. So first, the what are the requirements to download Omniverse in your particular system? So like uh, first, you, you must have a NVIDIA GTX uh, GPU, then your C, uh, your RAM must be more than 16 GB, 16 GB is minimum, but I would recommend to have a 32 GB RAM. And other than that, it uh, basically supports in both Windows and Linux. So let's see a video on how to set up Omniverse in your particular local system. So first just go to your favorite browser, then you can search for Omniverse launcher download. You can go to the NVIDIA website 
make sure to download it from the actual websites and don't go to any third party. It can be pirated or it can cause some privacy issues. So after going to that, you just have to create your own account. You can just uh, log in through different social medias that are there. Like I'll do it with Google. Just. Oh, I think the video is getting stuck. Just a second. So yeah, here is I'm logging through Google. Then after logging in, you can see the complete your profile option. You have to provide all the required details. And as you click that I'm human, then it will download all the resources and the package. You have to provide all the permissions that it asks and provide whatever use that uh, you will be, whatever use case you will be working with for Omniverse. Then you will have to download the SDK. So the, here are different kinds of download centers that you will be downloading from. Then you will see access launcher for Windows or Linux. Choose according to your particular OS. I'll choose from Linux. Then the download will start. And as it gets download, just open the file location. And then you have to change the properties as permission, execute as an executing file. Then here is the downloading is complete and so is the setup. So this is how the uh, Omniverse kit will lo look like after downloading. As you can see. So yeah, what is uh, navigating through Omniverse kit? So let's first navigate through what are the different Omniverse tools and interfaces. So mainly the user interface is very user uh, is very in intuitive and user friendly and it is very easy to navigate through Omniverse. It provides different kinds of tools uh, for 3D modeling, rendering and animation. And there are various plugins and ex extensions as in any other particular framework. So then it is, uh, this is Omniverse Kit. So Omniverse Kit is uh, what provides you basic uh, or many kind of powerful tools for Omniverse. Let's, I'll just show you. So here is my Omniverse uh, UI. And here are various applications that I've used or I have like downloaded here. So whatever application you need, you can just go to exchange and search for it. Like I'll search for USD Explorer. So here you will get whatever application you are searching from. You can just click and install. Similarly, like I have, uh, like I'll again go to the library. So I have different kinds of applications like audio to phase, Isaac Sim, USD Composer, and Omniverse Kit. So yeah, let's move forward. So how does it uh, like streamlines workflows with Omniverse? How you can mainly uh, make your workflows kind of very easy and not that complex. So it provides a basic three uh, asset asset management. Like you can use a centralized repository for storing and managing different kinds of asset. You can just download them from the samples or if even if you want, you can just use your own assets. It helps in data synchronization. Like you, all the team members, as I mentioned earlier, all the team members can work on the same asset or the same viewport at the same, same time. So it also makes the real time communication easy. So interoperability with the uh, various kinds of softwares. So like I said, uh, Omniverse provides different kinds of softwares or access to different kinds of softwares like Maya, Blender and Unreal. And you can work 
on the different the software simultaneously and use different assets on interchanging those softwares. So enhancing collaboration through Omniverse. So Omniverse basically helps in live streaming your virtual re reality, like making 3D objects or making 3D scenes and having them uh, seeing your, in your VR sets, which can uh, actually enhance your visual experience. So what are the best practices of collaboration? Like if you want to work uh, in a team and you all have to work on the same project. So what are the best practices that you should undertake? So mainly the first and the foremost is the version control. So by version control, uh, what I mean to say is like you all have, uh, if you all are working on the same project, you must be using the same versions and even for the asset or the libraries that you're using must be of the same uh, versions, effective communication. So it is the uh, most important thing I would say, like if there is no proper communication between the team members or between anyone, it can lead to serious issues. So yeah, it powered tools and features that are there in, uh, our omniverse so it uh, provides ai assisted modeling like you can just uh, generate 3d models or usd files through simple prompts and even the omniverse uh the nvidia are currently working on different kinds of uh, gen ai frameworks that will help you generate uh, 3d objects or usd files and even make animations through simple prompts so what are the real uh, world use cases like we have uh, listen to every what are the use cases of different kinds of applications so what are the actual uh, use case of omniverse so omniverse uh, are uh, like omniverse tools are currently used in various kinds of fields you the field you name it and uh, omniverse has its own applications like in automotive industry architecture and even in entertainment so here here are some of the real world examples or the organizations that currently use omniverse so it is be, uh, BMW in the terms of automotive industry, Volvo, and even in the terms of entertainment or in the field of entertainment, who, who doesn't know Walt Disney or Netflix? So they all use Omniverse for some application or the other. So security and data management. So with all these AI features, security and data management is like a high prior priority. Omniverse is currently working on those uh, features and also when you integrate or when you collaborate with different uh, teamwork team members throughout the world or across the globe you just have to make sure that your uh, data is properly maintained and monitored so yeah that's it from the powerpoint pre presentation so i would like to open the house for any discussion if there is any questions or you want any queries you can just ask Hey, Sumit. Uh, hi, Vijay. Uh, yeah. Can you just uh, highlight a little bit more like how NVIDIA Omniverse is different from traditional 3D software? Uh, yeah, definitely. I guess it's uh, one of the most asked questions um, when I often give the webinars on Omniverse. So how it is different is like you can use different kinds of softwares for 3D asset management or like modifying your 3D files. But what Omniverse provides is that it provides the like synchronization between different kinds of softwares. Like you can use the same 3D asset that you are using in mm -hmm. uh, NVIDIA in say, uh, as same in the Unreal. Like if you made a model, uh, you can connect the same model through Unreal. And if you can mm -hmm. add the animations in the Omniverse uh, platforms or different tools, and you can add the, uh, like you can, you know, uh, in Unreal, it is more kind of smooth or textures so you can enhance those textures and scalings in unreal and use the animations or add the animations in omniverse okay uh, thank you Sumit. that was more uh, helpful i just have a follow-up question like mm -hmm. who are the uh, primary users of nvidia Om omniverse like for whom it is designed uh I think like, I don't see any primary users for Omniverse. Like there is a vast variety of users that can use Omniverse. As I mentioned, like there are different kinds of fields. Like I'll just again, show the slide. 
like in automotive industry even in the architecture and entertainment many uh, many of the users they use omniverse yeah the use cases can uh, differ like mm -hmm. uh, for bmw they use it for digital twin man, uh, factory optimization so what they do bmw what they actually do is before setting up a plant they actually make the whole 3d structure in omniverse and mm -hmm. then implement it in mm -hmm. in the real life okay so yeah the use cases can mm -hmm. yeah. yeah exactly and even okay. in terms of robotics you know you can just uh, train your whole robot in yeah. a particular scenario and you don't have mm -hmm. to like in real life you, you have to just take your robot and uh, make it walk on different kinds of terrains but you can just uh, simulate those kind uh, different paths on your uh, omniverse and you can use it further okay thank you that was so helpful thank you yeah Thank you. So are there any questions or are we done for this? Yeah. Hi, Sumit. Yeah. Ref. First of all, it was a great session to start with Omniverse. Like I also want to learn Omniverse in depth. So can mm. you uh, tell me where I can find tutorials and resources to learn more about Omniverse? Uh, great. From the basic point of view, I uh, like from the point of view of a new developer, I think it's a great question. So whoever wants to start from uh, Omniverse or is like you want to start with any of the Om Omniverse tools, I think I would recommend the official YouTube channel of Omniverse. And even if you are facing any issue, feel free to uh, like go to their Discord. There, uh, there are uh, Discord channels of Omniverse for developers. And even they are, there are blogs on Omniverse and the different kinds of tools that Omniverse provides. And also, uh, there are different for forums that where you can raise your questions and they they actually answer that. That's the best thing that I uh, liked about Omniverse community, that uh, whatever questions I put on those uh, the uh, Discord channel, they actually answered that. Okay. Yeah, so I, I hope I'll, I was able to answer your question. Yes. Yeah. So are there any other questions? Hi, Sumit. Uh, yeah, Arjun. Uh, I have a question, uh, like you told us, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. what are the system requirements for installing Omniverse, like hardware and software? Uh, the main requirement, I would say, is a GPU. And it, uh, it must be, or it uh, must be a powerful GPU. NVIDIA RTX are highly recommended. And for the RAM, it uh, the minimum requirement is 16 GB, but uh, like I would recommend it must be a 32 GB RAM. Apart from that, you can just uh, check the various requirements on, uh, you can like Google it, other requirements, but the main requirements are these. And even if you want to purchase a virtual machine, you can go for it. Uh, okay, thank you. That would help. Yeah, I guess it will be helpful for you. Oh, okay. I think that's it uh, for today. So we will end this webinar. Thank you all for joining.